wait and they wait for moments like Mariah and for moments like Dick Carey. Dick Clark, excuse me. I just married the two of them. <laughs> and of course, that ball dropping. What a sight. It's quite a party, Ryan. It never changes. The best organized, happiest group of people in the world all come here to New York. Look at them. Are they having a time? Yes. Happy New Year 2006. You can always count on a good time. It is just the best. Millions of strangers gathered and not a moment of violence. Happiness revealed. Thank you, Mariah. Agent 54, ladder four of the FDNY would like to say welcome back to Times Square, Dick Clark. It wasn't the same without you. And we want to wish everybody a happy, happy new year. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve 2006 on ABC, brought to you by Vitorin. Start the year off right. Ask your doctor about Vitorin. Well, the people are starting to leave the square now. Many of them have been here since 4 o'clock this afternoon. And now the massive cleanup will begin. That job takes over 100 sanitation workers. They're going to get it all cleaned up by 6 a.m. Last year, they cleaned away over 50 tons of trash, and nobody does it like the personnel of the city of New York. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Ryan, I see you have returned from the good times. <laughs> I am uh, out of breath. We just sprinted from uh, in the middle of all that. Well, as you know, every year we have a big Hollywood party, and this year may be the biggest lineup of talent ever. Now, it's hosted by Hilary Duff, featured 311, Three Doors Down, The Bangles, Chris Brown, The Pussycat Dolls, and Sean Paul, and Sugarland. And that will be starting moments from now. Uh, don't you dare go away anywhere. Uh, in the meantime, the cars here at Times Square, uh, they seem to be thinning out, don't they, Ryan? Yeah, they do indeed. How's everything going over there, you guys? It's going great, and as usual, it was a big night at Times Square. Always an extraordinary time. Now, the people always leave here in a happy frame of mind. And why not? You know, celebrating New Year's is the oldest holiday in the world. It started in Babylon about 4,000 years ago. And ever since, it's been a time for high hopes, optimism, and renewal. Here's open. It'll be a great year for everyone. Marisol. Well, thank you so much. You know what? A an unusual thing has happened. Undoubtedly, somebody made a New Year's resolution tonight. You're not alone. One of the most popular in modern times used to be quit smoking. But so many people have done that in the last 10 years that the number one these days is lose weight. 4,000 years ago, it was returned borrowed farmer Cooper. We'll be right back. In New York City, you're going to love New Year's here. Best of luck to you. Happy New Year to you in Times Square. Thank you, Hillary. Uh, Times Square is relatively empty now, but by Tuesday morning, the place will be humming with activity. 230,000 people work here every day. Another 27,000 live here. And a million and a half people pass through here on a daily basis. 26 million tourists every year. Uh, it seemed like every one of us was, was crammed in here earlier tonight, Ryan. Indeed, and it really is. Well, here in New York, we're enjoying the great music out in Hollywood. Uh, it's been a great tradition with this show, years and years, bringing you the best music around. 
And with that in mind, it's time for another song from a very, very talented and lovely lady. Ladies and gentlemen, Hilary Duff. Well, this is the time of night where people start to show up at various parties around town there. There is still a lot more party to go here on New Year's Rock and Eve. And you know, I've had a wonderful time tonight. There's nothing like being in Times Square on New Year's Eve. And believe me, this is one night I will never, ever forget. You get pretty quiet looking out the window, and then Ryan, what kind of view do you have right now? Well, I tell you, I, I've got a pretty good view.